Hi, my name is Carla. I'm from Brazil. I came here almost four years ago for my PhD degree in chemical engineering. I came right after I got my bachelor's degree in food engineering, which is a different major that doesn't exist in the U.S. and it's um, basically biochemical engineering with a focus on food processing. As a PhD student, my research project involves um, the proteomic characterization of a microbial community with a bioremediation potential. So basically, we do we use all modern proteomic, modern proteomic technologies to describe that community. Um, one of the great advantages of being in chemical engineering is to be able to branch out in several directions. And right now, I'm doing environmental research in chemical engineering, but I am at a step that I want to. Um, move to a different field and it's going to be relatively easy for me with a chemical engineering degree to go to biomedical research. I've had financial support from the department, either um, research or teaching assistantships all along. CSU has a pretty large group of international students. Um, I live at, um, with apartment life and th there is a huge diversity. There are people from all over the world living there and um, it's a quite unique population since almost everybody around is from Colorado and it's, it's great to have such a distinct group right in the middle of campus. So I've had many opportunities to go to conferences. Um, I've gone to a few regional conferences. I've gone uh, at least once a year to um, national conferences and I've mostly been to the American Institute of Chemical Engineers meeting, which is um, the, the largest meeting is in the fall. And last year, I got a very special opportunity to go to an international conference in Luxembourg. So, when I presented at the conference in Luxembourg, I got I attracted the attention of several professors because my work is um, a challenge and compared to what has been done in the proteomics field because all the studies so far. Um, treat one uh, organism or one type of tissue and what I've done, what I did, was completely different because it involved um, a collection of organisms rather than one model. I to say that it's, um, Fort Collins is very receptive of international students and international actions, so it's good to try your best on English, but if you fail, it's still great. People will do a lot of effort to understand what you're saying. 